There's no way I'm putting him in elite just because people just call him the uh, famous Leeds United. There's no way I'm having him in elite. Leeds have only just started selling out home games. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, we've got a big video planned today. We are going to be ranking championship stadiums. However, I'm not on my own for this video. I've got my earphones on. I'm joined by Middlesbrough vlogger AJT. Yes, yes. How are we, mate? How's it going, all right? How's it going? Good lad. Okay, good now he's a very good mate of mine. I've got you, well, I need all of you to do me a big favour, okay? Can you all go over to his channel right now? Smash that red subscribe button. He is on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So get it done. On, I'll Jeff. leave his channel in the description. Yes, yes. Now, AJ, I'm going to let you set a like target as you're the guest. How many likes on this video? Um, pfft, do you know what? You normally do all right on the likes. I'm going to go for 243 likes. Why? That's <laughs> high. We can smash that. There Let's do that. And I just want to quickly mention, next Friday, I've got a big, big giveaway coming to you all. We are giving away a football shirt of your choice for one of you to win, okay? Well, I say we. I'm giving away a football shirt of your choice, and in order to enter, all you need to do is follow my, follow my Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and tag three friends in the Instagram post, okay? So that's going to be going up next Friday, and the winner will be announced at the start of June, okay? So... Big giveaway, AJ. You're you're in, aren't you? Mate? Yeah, man. It's now. Listen, I'm going to be there. I'm going to try and win it. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. As I said, we are ranking championship stadiums, okay? And I'm going to be ranking them on my overall experience at the stadium, mm -hmm. whether I've been there or not, um, what it looks like, and I'm going to sort of talk about the atmosphere as well. So AJ has been to every single stadium. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, am I right in saying that? Yeah. All 46 of last season. So. Uh, this okay. yeah so yeah basically all of them yeah right okay we'll crack on then so the first one is Barnsley Barnsley yeah the... I've been go on AJ you start you start you sure yeah you go for it mate Barnsley Oakwell uh, middle of a housing estate um, as the Tykes as they call themselves it's just your sort of old and day sort of stadium that's never really been renovated into a special stadium uh, for any sort mm. of way fan to travel to. Um, it's very, very red, you could say, I suppose. Um, yeah. And I don't know, I mean, Barnes is one of those. It's a proper, proper sort of in the housing estate stadium. It's an oldish stadium, it's been there for years. Um, mm. But it isn't the best, I would say. I wouldn't say it's the best. As for atmosphere, well, unless mm. you're there as an away fan, there isn't normally an atmosphere of coming from the home side. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I just want to quickly mention as well. We're ranking these, okay, we've got five different tiers. We've got Elite, so Elite being the best stadium. Decent, we've got Average, not great, and the bottom tier is terrible, okay? So, Barnsley for me, I've been there once, and it was the game we won 2-1. Absolute limbs, carnage, but pff, I don't think it's anything special. No. <laughs> so, for me, I'd probably put it in not great. I don't think it's terrible, but for me... Yeah, it's not great, is I'd it? I'd put it in... Okay, so we'll whack it in. I've never even Not heard them right. sing a song. That's how bad it is. I've never even heard any sort of atmosphere from the home fans. I've never even seen us win there either, so... Yeah. It's a bit of a boring okay. ground. We're going to move on mm -hmm. to Birmingham. Okay, now, Birmingham City. Go on, you, you start, AJ, because you've probably been to Birmingham more than I have. <laughs> uh, how many times have been to Birmingham? Off the top of my head. About four or five times. Yeah. Big St Andrews, um, heart of the city. Um, and listen, I mean, listen, I love Birmingham sort of as a city. Um, you know, listen, I'm, listen, I just love cities in general. But Birmingham City, St Andrews, it's been there for a while again. Um, you know, I think they've got a sort of good fan base there. Um, mm. You know, I mean, few few passionate supporters amongst themselves and whatnot. But I would say it's an alright stadium. I wouldn't say it's a bad stadium. I would say yeah. their fans have a bit of atmosphere to them. It isn't like it's, it isn't like yeah. a library when you go there. It's actually a bit of good crack when you go there um, to Birmingham City. I would say. Yeah. I'd say average. I would say Birmingham. average. Cool. All right. We'll move on. Blackburn Rovers. Now I've never been to Blackburn, so I can't really have a say on this. AJ, I'm gonna let you do the talking. Just 
<laughs> what do you think? What, uh, where would you put Blackburn? I like I like it, man. Uh, this is Ewood Park. Um, I've been there about three times, and first time I went there, we beat them four 0 Robbie Savage got sent off, so that was happy days. Um, yeah, I do like I do like Ewood Park. Years ago, it had a decent atmosphere to it. When I went to it a few years back, there was no real atmosphere. The fans sort of fell away. Mm. Uh, I think it was due to ownership or some sort of like relation to that sort of side of it. Um, yeah. Pre-match, I give it to them. It's fantastic. Pre-match they had a band on. They had a few like games going on and stuff like that. It was actually a decent sort of pre-match atmosphere. Um, but in yeah. terms of the ninety minutes, it was a very much like a library. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put him in the bottom tier, but he just isn't great at Blackburn. I'll be honest. Okay, well, well, I like it not great then. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's a shame because listen, so, I do like Blackburn as a club, but in terms of their fans, in terms of their stadium, it is a bit like a library in there, you know. Cool. All right, bang. Not great then. All right. So what we've done for Brentford is we're going to do their old stadium, Griffin Park, and obviously. It's been in the news. Their new stadium is nearly done. So we are going to rank it. It's on Google. I found a picture. Mm-hmm. So we'll do the new stadium as well. So we'll start off with Griffin Park. Now, for me, Griffin Park is one of those stadiums where I think all fans love going to. It's small. It's a really good away day. It's in London. Um, and there's always a great atmosphere because of the small stadium. Mm-hmm. I think it generates a bit better atmosphere um, because the stands are all enclosed, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I'd probably put Brentford in... The stadium itself is nothing special, but in terms of the away day and my experiences there, I'd probably put it in decent. Yeah, I'd probably put it in decent. Uh, yeah, I'd probably... Yeah. I'd say, man, listen, it's a good, listen, it's a good old English stadium. It's a shame to see him move mm, yeah. on, but I think an upgrade was definitely needed. Um, yeah. Although, like, like I say, man, Griffin Park, a pub on every single corner. You don't get that with any much more clubs inside this world of, like footballing world now, if you like. But, uh, yeah, man, Griffin Park, yeah. good old English stadium, class, man. Cool, decent. There we go. There Moves go. us on to the new stadium then. Okay, so we'll do this one quite quickly. Um, for me, I think... I don't know. I think Brentford fans are going to be a little bit gutted with this mm. because it, it's not it's not the same, is it? It's a weird it's, shape, it's very, mate. It's a weird shape. It's very, it's very modern. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like a football stadium, no. in my opinion, mate. Uh, it looks dead um, weird, yeah. For me, I, I think that's probably going to have to go in not great. Yeah, that's it, my opinion. It's a tendency of you know whenever you move to a different stadium, do you sort of take the atmosphere with you to the sort of die off? Ooh. A bit like Upton Park and uh, of course the Olympic Stadium. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Same sort, same sort of thing. Um, and I guess that's why Liverpool have been adamant, for obviously, obviously, from obviously like not moving from Anfield to obviously like a different stadium because I think you do lose a little bit of your football club whenever you do move stadium. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a weird experience, obviously going to the new stadium. But you know what I mean. Good luck to them. Okay, not great, yeah. Yeah. Um, not- right, the next stadium, AJ, Bristol City. Yeah, okay, Ashton Gate. Mm. Cool, I haven't been there for a long time, and the <laughs> time I went, I think they only had three stands. Oh jeez. Um, so <laughs> yeah, for me, I'm not the biggest fan. Um, it's quite an is, am I right in saying it's like a fairly old-fashioned stadium? It's not extremely modern? No. Am I right in saying that? No, it's just been done up, on it? It's been renovated. Oh, has it? Okay. <laughs> I look like an idiot, don't I? AJ, <laughs> you go for it, mate. Go for it, AJ. No. Hey, same, man. Obviously, when I've been, obviously, in recent years, um, yeah, listen, it's fully, fully done up now. It's a brand new sort of looking stadium. Okay. Uh, I like right. to put different colours at night, if that gives you any sort of plus points. Um... Mm. And you know what? I actually like Bristol City. We are really, 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 really do. I think again, inside the uh, stadium, the fans are absolutely terrific. Uh, I always think there's a great yeah. atmosphere at Bristol City, um, and, cool. I, and same again. So I would probably put them in decent, to be honest. Decent, okay, all right. I well, would, yeah, would. decent then. All right, we'll we'll move on, AJ. Yeah. Cardiff City then. I've never been to Cardiff either and you probably have, so yeah. once again AJ, speak. <laughs> <laughs> listen mate, listen, I went to Cardiff for a very special for a very special day back in two thousand and four, Carlin Cup winners. Um, but of course I've also been to the uh, Cardiff City Stadium. Um and uh, I'm a bit disappointed in saying that their fans aren't the greatest at home. Um it is like a library. I wouldn't lie to you, it is very much like a library. There's no real sort of atmosphere there and to have a stadium as big as what Cardiff is is a real shame to have absolutely zero um, sort of noise come out of it so mm, I would probably okay. I'd probably listen I'd be harsh and putting them in the bottom tier but I probably would put them in the bottom tier so not great or terrible I'd probably put them in terrible 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so the next one is Charlton. Mm. Now, I actually really like Charlton Stadium. Now, the time I went there, oh my gosh, AJ, it was the it was the <laughs> day where no hunt. Netted it in the 95th minute. Jeez. Bodies flying about Seeds. in the away end. It was absolute carnage. Ah. Um, and I just quite like the stadium. I mean, I know it's a bit of a bowl, mm. um, but it's a good away day. And for me, I'd probably put it in. I'm torn between average and decent for Charlton. You picked me. I've never ever been to Charlton. So I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I'm gonna put it in average because I don't think it's quite. Uh, Brentford level because Brentford's a quality away day. Charlton. It's quite an old stadium. The stadium, isn't it, is a bit of a, the, the stadium the, yeah, the stadium is a bit of a bowl. Mm. So I'll put it in average. All right, we'll move. We'll move on. Yes. <sighs> Derby County, mate. Derby County. Mm, I like it, man. It's got a Greg's and a Starbucks on the side of it. Pride part of Starbucks. <laughs> <indeed>. <laughs> it's got an, Listen, it's <laughs> even got a cash point on the side of the stadium, mate. Right. For me, <laughs> I think it's bang average. I'm not gonna lie, mate. I think it's a it's another one of those stadiums where, you know, it's a ra- it's very round. It's a bowl, isn't it? Um, a bit like Barrow Stadium. <laughs> Good one. Um, <laughs> oh no, I, I think Derby's just average. What do you think, mate? Do you think so? Would you? I I I'd put it in average, mate. Ah, fair. I would have put them a bit higher than average, to be fair. But we need to decide. We need to decide. I don't saying. know, man. I think I think they've got some decent supporters, uh, especially at home. I think they've got t- some decent supporters. But mm. at times it can be a bit dead, and at times, especially if they're winning, yeah, mate. A lot of average for me. It's got to be an average. Yeah, for me. average. Put an average. All right, cool. So um, the next stadium is Fulham. Oh my days! And I've got, I've got, a, I've got to say, AJ. Yeah. Um, I'd put this in the top tier, Fulham, because. <sighs> It's such a good away day. It's in London. Um, the stadium itself is so old-fashioned. Like there aren't many stadiums similar to Fulham. For me, I think it's got to be an elite. Oh mate, no, I can't have it in elite. Are you joking? Mate, right? They've got clappers in the home end. They do, yeah, but that's, yeah, but that's, that's only, their fans. <laughs> you got a voice break. That's the only bit of atmosphere they've got is the clappers, mate. They're just clappers. I know, but we're not doing atmosphere. We're doing stadiums, and it's an old-fashioned stadium. I, I like know, going there. It's quite. But yeah, but the only, ru- in fact, to be fair, the only rubbish thing about their stadium is you've got massive beams in front of you. So no, sometimes the view can be absolutely awful. So I've if got to put if it in it's, a clip. If it's giving a stadium appearance, then yeah, I'd say top. Mm. I'd say top. If it was based on how good are the fans, then of course it'd be bottom. But if we're basing uh, it yeah. on the sort of look of what's sort of like appearance of the stadium, then yeah, yeah. then yeah, then yeah, I'd say elite. In terms of elite. Like, there we go. It's going in elite, mate. There we go. <laughs> Fulham in elite. Oh Next God. stadium is Huddersfield. Never been. Oh yeah. man, what is what is it? I mean, it is. It's so similar <laughs> to Bolton. It's so similar yeah, to Bolton. Yeah, it's too fair. Um, the John Smith Stadium. I have, I have been there before. The atmosphere there is cr- is cracking when I went because they were fighting for promotion. But in terms of the stadium, I mean, it's nothing special. I'm going to put it in not great, mate. Fair play, man. It's not a great fair stadium. Play. Yeah, to be fair, it doesn't, right, to be fair next... it doesn't look great, to be fair. Yeah, and also, right, anyway. Yeah, go on. We'll move, are you ready to move on? Yeah, move on, move on. Right, okay. <laughs> Whole City, the Tigers. Uh-huh. Um, they about seven times. I've, I've never been to Hull, but <laughs> it's used for their rugby as well, because they're quite a rugby... Yeah. They have a lot of rugby fans in Hull. I've, I'd probably say they've got more rugby fans in Hull than football fans. I'm pretty, sure, know, I'm pretty but... sure that they've got the university built into the stadium as well. Yeah, go on. Where would you put it, mate? Um, the KCOM. Um, it's not great. Uh, there you go. There's your answer. It isn't great. There you go. Whole City. Okay. Not great. Bang. Yeah. Not great. It is, listen, Nothing in terms yet. of the pubs and all that outside of it, that makes it a good away day, but inside mm. of it, the stadium looks a bit like a ball again. Uh, it looks a bit like the yeah. Etihad. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just not the great. B Tech Etihad. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly, mate. It's not great. <laughs> right, we'll move on. AJT, the beloved Leeds United. This is where the debate comes in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I don't want to get annoyed this video. No, mate. <laughs> talk from the heart. Mate, Leeds no, United. No, 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 for no. me. Go on. No, go on, Alex. What are you going to say? For you, what? It's got to be an elite, mate. Mate, I knew that was coming. No, no. I, I'm, I'm not going to be biased. I knew that was coming. Um, I personally think... I think Leeds is decent. I'd put it in decent. 
yeah, I mean, decent, yeah, decent. I mean, there's no way I put him in elite just because people just call him the uh, famous Legion. Eh? There's no way I'm having him in elite. I, I put but him they decent. Are, they are the mighty, they are, oh, they're the mighty Legion. <laughs> you love the Legion, yeah. <laughs> listen, back in 2016 when I went to Leeds, I couldn't even sell out the stadium. And now, because of the top of the league, suddenly, suddenly everyone wants to come back. Um, plastic supporters or not, I think that pretty much gives you out your answer. Um, oh my, you've torn that, you've torn them. Mate, in 2016, they couldn't sell out the stadium. Like, in 2016, their main stand, they couldn't even up the top tier because they couldn't sell the tickets for it. Now, suddenly, nobody can get a ticket for it, so take that as you will. Um, there's nowhere near going elite, Leeds United, there's nowhere near. Um, they're actually going below elite because to be elite, you have to sell it out for years and years and years and years. And, in, you know... Okay. Listen, a few years back, they couldn't sell it out, so no, for me, there's but no way. The thing is, with Leeds, whenever you go to Leeds away, you know it's going to be a good away day. There's always going to be that, you know, banter with the away fans, well, the, the home fans, sorry, because mm-hmm. they've always, you, the away stand in Leeds is literally right next to their loud stand, isn't it? So I think you always have that crack with the um Is with there the a loud stand at Leeds? Oh, AJ, <laughs> you know there is. You know their fans are good. They are a loud bunch, and I think it's always going to be a good away day, Leeds. I'm not going to put it in elite because the actual stadium itself. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It looks, it look, it does look nice, but just because I know it's going to rattle you, I'll put it in decent. <laughs> yeah, no, listen, it has to be decent because if you look at Fulham, they sell out every single home game. Mate. Mm. Leeds have only totally just started Leeds. selling out home games. Have they? I went in 2016, mate. Like I say, the stadium's half the half. Like I say, man, you know what I mean. Like the stadium's half full. Okay. So there you go. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Debate, Fair debate enough. Right. Over. <laughs> All right. Debate over. Luton Town. Um, Can I work for Lord? This is literally my garden shed's bigger than Luton. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm putting Luton in terrible because it is a yeah, dump. It yeah. is. It's literally <laughs> in someone's garden, mm-hmm. and I remember going there. Mm. I think I didn't. I didn't go there that long ago for a cup game with Ipswich, and uh, it's such. It's such a dump. I'm pretty sure that you went a few weeks after I went to it. Yeah. Um, All right. Anyway, yeah. we'll move on. Yeah. We'll move on nice and smoothly to Middlesbrough. Elite. Go on. Give me a. Give me a big up the bar. Up the bar. Um. Now listen. I'll be honest with you. Um. I. Pff, we could be probably average based on our sort of home attendances and away attendances, Ooh. but you know I put you in average personally. That's fair enough. I, listen, that's fair enough. Listen, mate, I won't grumble with you. Fair enough, uh, average. Uh, you know. No, I think. You what? Go on, you talk. No, go on, mate. No, go on, go on. For me, for me, I think Middlesbrough is it's a very similar stadium to Derby's. You know, it's a yeah. got that bowl look to it. However, it is nice. It is a nice stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think if you were to fill that out, it would be incredible. I'd probably put it into decent because yeah. it would just make the stadium yeah. not look nicer, but it would have that... Whenever it's... Be different, do you know what I mean? Whenever it's packed, mate, it's a special place to be. Whenever it's packed, that same mm. atmosphere is absolutely booming. It's probably, the, it's, it's probably the same with any stadium. But yeah. For me, I think Borough does go into the average category with Derby. Yeah, yeah? Fair enough, fair enough. All right, bang, there we go. Uh, we'll move on then to Millwall, the Den. The Den. Oh mate, this is odd. <laughs> Millwall away is always a good away. Yeah, now, man, I always, but, always. Um, I mean, sometimes it's a little bit scary because their fans are nuts. <laughs> but just passionate. Aren't they? These are passionate fan base down there in Millwall. You know, it's, it's it's just a very basic stadium. It's got four stands, simple as. Yeah. Um, I, I'd probably put it in decent, mate. I would, to be fair. Like I say, I do like Millwall away. Um, you know what I mean? Listen, the fans, the fans always give you a bit of crack inside the stadium as well. So definitely, yeah. It's always a good away. All right, we're well, moving on nicely to Nottingham Forest, mate. Now, yeah. for me, this has got to go in elite. Because yeah, hundred percent. It's it's the famous Nottingham Forest, yeah. mate, and the stadium itself. You know, it's by the river. Um, mm-hmm. Always good pre-match build-up. Um, the fans there are absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we're not ranking fans. The yeah. stadium just looks nice, doesn't it? You know, they've yeah. got like one massive unbelievable. stand. Unbelievable football club. Unbelievable. We don't need to... Yeah. Yeah. Elite. Bang. Mate, just... Right, the say, next... Yeah, Nottingham Forest. What a club. What a club. <laughs> yeah. Champions League winners as well. Mate, that's what I'm Quite saying. To so many memories. So many memories yeah. and history inside that stadium. Um, it yeah. has to go in Elite 100%. Okay, awesome. So, the next sta- the next stadium then is Preston... Um, mate. I mean, I've never been to I've never uh, been to Deepdale. I've been so about six I times. Really, I probably 
It's a nice looking stadium. I, I give it to that. It's, it is a nice looking stadium, uh, especially on a night time. It is a nice looking stadium, but um, it isn't it's one of the impressive. greatest ones. I'd probably put it in average if right. it was me. Average, the same with Middlesbrough. It just don't get me wrong. It's a nice looking stadium, but there isn't much of a factor to it. So I'd probably be below average if I'm honest with you. But okay, we'll put it not. We'll put it not great. Yeah. All right. Okay. The next one is QPR. Nah, I hate QPR away, man. <laughs> I hate QPR away. I've been, I've been, I've been to QPR a fair few times. Yeah. Um, for me, QPR, it's not nothing special. It's quite old fashioned, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. You've got the the two, the away end is two tiers, a t- up, upper mm-hmm. tier and a lower tier, and it's quite, it's quite strange, really. Um, I'd probably put it in average or not great. I mean, I put it in the bottom one. I hate oh, it. I hate it. I hate it. You put it in terrible. Oh, mate. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in between then. I'll put it in not great. I, I got a seat um, before, and my seat was directly in front of a director's box. I couldn't see the actual match. Oh, okay. So yeah. That must bring it down then. Yeah. yeah All right. Time. Okay. Cool. We'll move on then. Right. The next stadium is Reading. Reading. Lovely. And I really like it, Medeski. I I quite like Reading. I've been there a few times. The last time I went was a crazy, I think, two-all draw. Mm-hmm. We stayed for the weekend in Reading, and you know they've got a hotel in the stadium. We stayed yeah. in that hotel. Yeah. Um, I I think it's average. I don't think it goes into decent for me. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it. Yeah. In, I'll yeah. Put it in average. average. I think it's a nice stadium. Yeah. Average. Cool. All right. Moving on then to. Oh, mate, the next one. Mm-hmm. The next one. Hang on, I can't even see it. Yeah, I'm just sure. Sheffield Wednesday, I think. Sheffield it's Wednesday, Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday. Are you sure? Yeah, Hillsborough. Yeah, cool, right. So, the next stadium is Sheffield Wednesday. I got a bit muddled up there, but... <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday, mate, for me, this has got to go in elite. Hillsborough. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, such a class stadium. It's got that... It's unbelievable, mate. I don't know. Sorry? I it think is unbelievable. I really like um, it. Deep in the city, I really like it. Right, okay. Bang and elite. Yeah. There we go. We don't even need to speak about and it. And of course, they've got Tango as well. Tango. He's a- Tango, man. Whee! <laughs> what a guy Whee! Tango is. I know. Um, <laughs> right, Stoke City. Um, oh, mate, I've been to Stoke once. Yeah, same. It's just a bit boring and plain in my it's opinion. It's just freezing like. cold as well in that away end. There's nothing about it really that wows me. So for me, I'd probably put it in mm, not great. Yeah, for me. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not great. Cool. All right. So the next one then is West Brom. <sighs> wow. West Brom. Hang on, where's okay, Swansea no, gone? Sorry. Where's Swansea? Oh mate, I've I've must have missed it out. We'll miss it out, AJ. We'll move on. We who is it out, Swansea? Who cares about who, who? Who even asked Swansea, mate? Yeah, it's true, mate. It's a dump, anyways. No, nah, I think I might have the last couple. I might have got in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter. No, We've given our thoughts. It's calm, it's calm. We'll move on to West Brom because I know this one's West Brom Stadium. Yeah, um, good stadium. I've been there. I've been there once, mate, and it was an unbelievable away day. We drew one all. Yeah. Uh, they've got that one one big stand. Mm-hmm. Um, they usually fill it up. When I went there, yeah. I'm pretty much sold out, yeah, and it was um, the atmosphere was just unbelievable. And I'll never forget that game. Yeah, it's so great. It's for great. me, it was for me. It's it's always a special away day at West Brom, mm-hmm. and I think you know it's in the Midlands. It's near Birmingham Villa, all them big clubs. Yeah. For me, I'd put West Brom in decent. Yeah, 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 decent. Yeah, West Brom is a quality away day. Fans are class. Bang. There we go. We are now onto the last stadium of the video. Yeah. Okay. Wigan Athletic. <laughs> Such a tin pot stadium, man. It is. It's so boring as well. There's I no mean, atmosphere. They get no fans in hardly. Oh, we're gonna whack it straight and terrible because terrible. it is literally terrible. We're gonna it's tin. It's tin pot. Like tin pot. When 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 the fixtures come out and Wigan's on there, you don't think, oh yes, we're gonna whack. <laughs> literally, you just don't give no. two, two tosses. Yeah, exactly. So. We've just ranked every single championship stadium apart from Swansea. There you go. Because <laughs> I, I, I kind of kind of fucked up a bit, but yeah. Um, right, <laughs> that is it. Okay. Now, like I said, these are all our own opinions. So if you do disagree, or if you do agree, everyone will agree with us... me about the whole Leeds thing. Everybody's going to disagree with me about. Nah, that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, won't we? But comment down below which team you put where, yes. um, and make sure you do go and subscribe to AJT. Let's try and hit 3,000 on his channel, and obviously I'm on the road to 9,000, so make go. sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? 243 likes, did you say, AJ? 243 likes, let's go. 
Mm, that's big. All right, we can smash that. All right, and make sure you keep your eyes peeled for the giveaway next Friday. And I, we will see you all in the next video. You got any more words, AJ? Nah, see you later on, people. Cheers for having me on, Alex. Much appreciated. No worries. Like this video and subscribe right now to Alex Griffin. No!